Okay, so you see here that you see here that it says the Spirit of God. Okay. Okay, the Spirit of God is not a separate entity because it doesn't even say that there. Okay, it is the Spirit of God. It is the way of thinking of God. It is the persona of God. Okay, that's why down here the Spirit, the Spirit of the Holy Spirit makes no sense. Makes no sense. Okay. And the spirit of Jesus, which I, I I done this before, okay. The spirit of Jesus, the spirit of Jesus, is the same one, is the same spirit of God. The same one, the same way of thinking of God, the same persona, okay. Because the persona is talking about your your core. It's not talking about your way of thinking. Uh, um, about colors or taste or anything like it's not talking about that it's talking about your heart it's talking about your core okay it's talking about those things that there are only there's only two two decisions right or wrong yes or no that's what it's talking about it's talking about our serious side like it's talking about who you really are that's what this is talking about. It's not talking about your taste or your music or if you're gay or if you're straight. It's not talking about anything like that. Okay? Because the Bible talks about this thing only. These two ways of thinking. Okay? And when I did my research, I found the answer. Even in the Dead Sea Scroll, is there the two spirits. The two spirits are the two ways of thinking. Okay? And I'm gonna put those. I'm gonna put that as evidence. Okay, uh, so you could see it. All right, that's what it's talking about. It's talking about two ways. Okay, two ways. Two ways. Okay, that's what this is talking about. That's what the spirit is. It's a way of thinking in the heart. Okay. Whenever the Bible is talking about that. God says, I will pour out, okay, of my spirit. This is what he's talking about. Now, the pouring out, okay, it comes out through the mouth of God. And God is not literal, okay? Just like wisdom is not literal and wisdom speaks, okay? Speaks and says the same thing. Wisdom says, I am going to pour out of my spirit. How could something that doesn't exist speak and say that? Because this is speaking about this world that is the that is like our conscious conscious world that we we have the physical world and we have you know this is just the way the brain works and we have this world that we could imagine things and think in these abstract uh, concepts. Okay, so. Another reason that this uh, Holy Spirit is not an entity is because the Holy Spirit comes out, the right? It's the breath, right? It's in, it's in the, the meaning, the literal meaning of the word spirit, breath, of course. Current of air, breath. Where does it come? Where does the, the breath come from? From your mouth. Okay? Didn't Jesus tell you that my words are spirit and life? Okay? So the words of God are the persona of God being spoken. Okay, that's what it's that's what it's telling you. It's coming from the mouth. How could an entity come come out of his mouth? Okay. And the reason is that the the New Testament, the translations have been corrupted and have been translated in ways that are not are not correct. Okay? Because somebody is trying to push this spiritual nonsense on you. You could keep believing it, and you will waste your time and your life believing uh, believing in nonsense like that. Okay. And I think I have something else to show you. 